Hi everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Today we have a special guest, my best friend Sean. Hi everybody. And wanted to do a brief cameo with my puppies. Uh, I'm holding Blue, he's 12 year old rat terrier. This is Bella, she's probably 14 year old rat terrier. She's very old and blind, she can't see a thing. Blue can't hear a thing. So we got Blindy and Deffy over here, but anyway, um, just wanted to introduce you to Sean because Sean's a big part of my life on the channel. Um, he's a mod in my the best mod live, in my live streams. He's helped me with a lot of the technical stuff uh, behind the scenes with YouTube and um, gosh, with a whole bunch of things, everything, Facebook, mm -hmm. everything, yeah. Um, but yeah, so wanted you guys to see Sean face to face. So hi, Sean. And tonight we're actually going to do a diamond painting uh, from Craftably uh, that I've already done an unboxing for. You can see that video on my channel. And it's called Astral Guardian. And it's pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> but it's going to hang in his apartment. My brand new apartment. Brand new apartment. And he needs some artwork. So blue is very heavy. <laughs> um, so yeah. So we're going to work on that tonight. And... Uh, See how it goes, but he's actually going to diamond paint with me and work on one end, and I'll work on the other end. And, try and we're going to video. not get angry over it. Yeah, you're not going to get angry over it. And we're going to do a video of it so you guys can see us working on it together. So Awesome duo. Awesome duo. So, anyway, I just wanted to introduce Sean to everyone because he is a big part of my life. And, yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Check out uh, Drinks and Diamonds every Sunday. I'm yeah, just, I'm there. every every Sunday, Sean is in there um, modding my live stream uh, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. So, yeah, so I wanted out, you to hi. meet the family. Uh oh, here comes Java. Java can't fit in oh. with the with the dogs too. Oh my god, kitty. So anyway, oh, kitty. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to put them in the uh, comments below. This mm -hmm. is going to be an intro to our diamond painting tonight, so but feel free to ask Sean any questions you would like. Yep. And remember, Anxiety Art Adventures on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <sighs> he's he's definitely likes to push the marketing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But anyway, but I am super excited. I want everybody to know I am almost at three thousand subscribers. I think I've got like 500 more to go. So 3,000? Did I, what did I say? Oh, yeah, we're almost oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, so when I get to 3,000, I am going to do a giveaway. A big giveaway. Oh, shit. So, we're trying to get to that point as well. So, uh, that's going to be a big, <laughs> a big uh, epic moment for Anxiety Art Adventures. So, yay. And I couldn't do it without everybody's help. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and all your nice comments and it's really been a lot of fun mm -hmm, mm -hmm. glad I'm, I'm back to the channel heck yeah so anyway thanks guys we'll see you in a little bit we're gonna go set up the uh astral guardian and get dogs off our laps you're back <laughs> all right bye guys hey everybody welcome back to anxiety Air adventures Woo! all right today Astral Guardian from Craftably. Uh, love Craftably. Uh, yeah, we'll show the image. Um, Craftably is a wonderful company that I am a big fan of for a lot of reasons. And I've highlighted those reasons um, before. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is um, they put all of their all of their drills in baggies. So you don't have to kit them up if you don't want to. They're already kitted up. I have all of the baggies in a box that um, I got from Michael's and I just keep them in the box. Um, so anyway, uh, Sean is with me. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, diamond painting um, that I am doing for him for his apartment. Yeah, it's going on the wall. <laughs> it's going in his apartment, but I figured this Same would give him a better, a better understanding of what goes into diamond painting and he'll appreciate it a little bit more if he works on it as well. So oh, he's gonna work. You know I appreciate you. I know. So he's gonna work down here in this quadrant. I'm gonna work here in this quadrant. This is my box. That's your box. My box. Um, I have covered covered the um, canvas with parchment paper like I always do, but you guys saw an image of um, Astral Guardian from Craftably. So we are going to work on this and we're going to chat while we work. Chat, chat, chat. 
So how's how, everybody doing? <laughs> right. Sean's going to do chatting today. How about that? Uh, Sean's going to chat today because I'm always the one that has to do the chatting. Yeah, well, it is your channel. I'm just a guest. Oh my gosh. Right. Guest. Right. So let's talk a little bit about Sean. Um, no. No. <laughs> no? Okay. Yes, no, no, yeah. What? Okay. So I don't know how many of you know, but Sean, as you as you do know, Sean is my best friend. And yes. we've known each other for... Three five, years now, right? Four? I think it's been over three. Yeah, it's been almost four. Four, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we met um, playing an online game Fidget called game. Black Desert Online. It's an MMO. And he happened to come into the guild that I was in. And we just hit it off and became good friends. And then I started my own guild and he basically helped me run that guild. So he was like a co-GM with me. Um, we still have the guild, but we don't really play it the game. It just meant I got to boss people around a lot and make them do my bidding. <laughs> right. Which was also your bidding and you boss me around a lot. So that's kind of kind of how that worked. Right. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So yeah, so we met uh, gaming, and then, uh, long story short, Sean needed to basically find a new job and needed to get out of where he was because it was not not a press situation. And so Adam and I offered for him to come up here and live with us. Never looked back. And I think it was probably the best move you could have done. Moved from Florida to Richmond literally over a weekend. Packed up my car and vroom vroom. Yep. And that was in July of 2018. 17. 18. Okay. Um, July of 2018, he packed up his car. He came here and um, was with us for a year and a half. And you had a job initially that turned out to be pretty crap. Yeah, it was kind of crappy. Kind of a crappy. It was a job though, and you know it. You got, let me save up some money. Yeah. And then he found a better job with a really good company here in Richmond, um, and he's been there since what May? Yeah, almost a year now. Uh, yeah, well. Close. Yeah, and he got his apartment um, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Literally the week of. Yeah, so we helped him move into his apartment. So anyway, uh, yeah, but Sean is, like I said in the intro, he's a really big part of my life, and we talk to each other daily. And Believe me, I, I get to annoy her. She loves it. <sighs> but I'm, I'm happy because I feel like I've really helped... Um, um, like basic things that you know he needed to learn, like um, getting a credit card, um, getting a car. <laughs> I had a car. It wasn't a very good car. Okay, I had a, car. <laughs> a, a good car that actually won't break down in the middle of the it, it never broke down. Yeah, I'm surprised it made it here. To be honest with you, I anyway. know, me too. <laughs> but no, in the span of him being here, he. He, his credit's gone up quite a bit. He got, you know, a credit card and he's been real responsible with it. He got his own car uh, that he financed. He got his own apartment. He's got a good job. So he's he's doing really well, y'all. Really well. I'm proud of you, sugar. Yeah. I'm proud of you. So. Then we take it on the flip side and Laura tells me, I'm getting bored with video games. Like, yeah, me too. That's kind of, that's just what I do is video game and She's like, I want to get back into my art stuff. I was like, you used to have a YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Man, we, we went back into all your old videos and how you started with coloring. And I did coloring. I don't know if you've told them yet. I'm sure you have. Yeah. You got me to do coloring. That was awesome. And then you showed me markers. And I was like, wow, why didn't you show me this first? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> but yeah. I've, Laura has expressed arts to me and I enjoy them and then now this is just a new medium that actually kind of I can see why you could sit there and do this for hours because it's very chill 
It is. It's very chill. And like I've said many times before, um, you know, me with my anxiety and others with anxiety and, you know, stress disorders, this, this is just, uh, it's, it's been a game changer for me. It's so much better. Uh, it's such a better stress reliever than coloring for me because like I've said many times before, I don't have to pick colors. I don't have to think about how things are going to look on the page. I just come in here, pick my diamonds, and start putting them on the page. And I really think it's the repetition of doing this over and over. And some people, it's not their cup of tea. I get it. Totally get it. Not their cup of tea. Um, but it's very therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. So. And then me coming in, I've never done anything like this. Uh, anyone who has never done this before, the best way I can explain this is, I mean, imagine color by numbers square wise and then instead of colored pencils or markers you've got little bits of plastic and they're very shiny and very pretty and surprisingly enough even though you're putting a little round dot of plastic into a very tiny square when these are done they are incredibly detailed laura's finished a few and has shown me i'm sure she's shown them on the channel fully completed and they they look really good yes yes they are uh, like surprisingly good like awesome. they should not look that good awesome so and of course you know I'm a huge huge fan of craftably um, they're just they're a great company to work with they did have some shipping issues over the holidays but again that was the holidays and sorry my computer needs air um, but they stayed in constant contact with me um, they sent me you know a case as an apology which obviously they didn't have to do so they've just been a real pleasure to work with and I will continue to purchase from them yeah it's really cool that the beads come pre-bagged yeah I mean the fact that everything is kitted up for you that's that's epic saved you a lot of time yeah because I'll have to agree with some other people um, some other content creators I am NOT a fan of kitting up or kitting down uh, it is very time consuming and then it's like you have all these drills it's like what do you do with them um, I don't want to just throw them away because uh, obviously uh, I'm a huge fan of our environment and it's not good to just throw away a bunch of plastic drills um, so right now I've still got all of my extra drills and don't really know what I'm going to do with them so if anybody has suggestions of what you do with your drills um, like some creative ideas um, other than using them in a coloring book um, <laughs> let me know let me know one cool thing I was thinking about doing is getting like from pure one getting like an open glass lamp and then pouring like all these different colored do like a sand like how they do like sand yeah. art yeah yeah well, with drills that'd be really cool and do like all the different colored drills that I have mm -hmm. especially the AB shiny ones or the Ryan yeah no it'd ones. be really cool if you get a hold of like like just an old classic Coke bottle, you know, and, but make it to where you can put the cap back on it and just fill the thing with drills. And, yeah, huh, or just something really cool. decorative. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Something yeah, for the Coke, art room. Coke bottles are decorative. I like Coke. That is true. And then I also thought about, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I thought about doing um, where I just take a blank canvas, like, you know, a canvas you buy from, you know, Michael's, AC Moore, whatever. Mm-hmm putting glue on it and then just throwing a bunch of drills all over it and try to just like, I don't know, make it look kind of artsy. Abstract. Just like stand at a distance and just like chuck handfuls of <laughs> <laughs> Right? That'd be awesome. I mean, you probably need to do that somewhere where I can easily pick them up, like not carpet. Nah, I vacuum will get them. But, you know, I don't know. I've just been trying to think of different ideas to do with no, that'd be awesome. With drills, so. Or you can still just like freestyle, free freehand of something. It doesn't even have to make any sense. It can just be completely random. Yeah, because you can always replace drills with whatever color you want. I mean, any of these can be replaced if you want to use. Um, A different color. Yeah, there are all kinds of Etsy shops that sell just drills. Um, that you can get like really shiny rhinestone ones, like. Yeah, I think they're, some of them are called, I watched um, Pippa Brown's at a video, I think they were called Sparklers, but yeah. So, 
I don't know. Something to think about. But any mm. suggestions or anything that you guys do, let me know. Put them in the comments. Put them in the comments. And then another thing, I was just talking to Sean about this. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a video um, where I answer people's questions. Like, if you have questions for me, they can be personal. Um, of course, I'll decide whether or not I answer, depending on how personal it is. But if you have questions that you want to ask me, um, I kind of want to dedicate a video to, you know, my friends that ask me questions. Uh, so basically, Laura wants a video AMA. Ask me anything, like off of Reddit or something. Uh, you know, yeah, maybe something, something different, something different. Um, I so, thought about doing a live stream of that, like people can just come on and ask me questions. But we're gonna. We're gonna go the video route, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Live streaming, I do it and I'm okay doing it, but it is very stressful for me. Um, just because it's live and you can't, like you can't, you can't rewind. <laughs> Back that up. You can't rewind. I didn't say that. You have no proof. Right, right. So, um, it's a little stressful and you know, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of people all at once um, it just makes my anxiety kick in so but I've been doing okay with it I've been doing, been doing okay really with good. it oh. getting tons of views people keep uh, keep showing up Sunday nights 10 p.m. Eastern drink some diamonds bring a drink have some fun oh my gosh Sean. come check out Mod Sean best mod uh, better than Jeremy hey <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Jeremy's awesome. Jeremy just the almost just, perfect man. The almost perfect man. Jeremy is the almost perfect man. I have never heard of a man doing all the things that he does. <laughs> like seriously. Stickers. We got stickers coming. We do. Jeremy said he's sending me some stickers. So. I know. I'm excited. Don't worry, if there's an F-bomb sticker, it's going right in the middle of my desk. <laughs> right in the middle of the desk. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, all my mods are awesome. Jeremy, Shalene, Catherine, you, um, Lisa, Mrs. Coffee. They're all awesome. So, don't forget any. They're going to know if you forgot them. I know. <laughs> I know. If I did forget somebody, I'm sorry. I think we got everybody. Nick and Tina. Yeah. Yeah, Robin. I think Robin. Yeah, Robin. Robin's is a mod on my stream. So, all my mods are great, and I appreciate them. Without us, it couldn't happen. That's true. You're just waiting to do a band hammer on someone. I am, man. I want I want some troll goo on my on my hammer. Troll goo. Look, it's Mr. Anxiety Art Adventures. Yes. You gonna come say hi to everybody? They think you don't exist. Got to log in first. Okay. Ah. Mr. Anxiety Art Adventures will come say hello in a moment because I know you guys don't think he actually exists. He's camera shy. Figment of the imagination. <laughs> yeah, no. Adam's just not... I mean, he's just not into the art stuff. And that's that's okay. I get it. He's, he likes doing his video games. I think right now he's playing... WoW, Classic, and... What is it? Starcraft? Is that the other one? I can't remember. Starcraft? Mm. What? On and off. On and off? Okay. So yeah, for you gamers, because I know there are a few gamers out there. Uh, anybody playing WoW Classic? Horde all the way. Loktar Ogar, victory or death. Alliance suck. Oh my gosh. Fight me. Jesus. <laughs> oh, see what I have to deal with, y'all. Fight me. See what I have to deal with. Oh gosh. Oh. I feel like I'm babysitting sometimes. What? <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Sorry, just wait till I start throwing these drills. You're not gonna throw the drills. Pissing me off. Do you have enough wax in I, your multi -placer? I don't know. 
Can it, you see it? Do you it need a light board? It sticks sometimes. Boop! Remember, this is the first time you're doing it, so mm. no big deal. Just gotta have some patience. I feel like one of those things you find on like an assembly line. Just pick stuff up and set things down. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> so I'll do it in here instead of the other room? Yeah. Yeah, All right, this was Mr. Anxiety Art Adventure. Say hi, Adam. Show your hand. Hello, I exist. <laughs> I have a thing. This is my husband, Adam. Oh, wow, you've Adam. got more stuff. I only saw the mermaid tail. No, yeah, I've got the cat, and I've got the, the Xbox controller. Cool. I showed you all those. <laughs> no, I only saw the mermaid tail. <laughs> you just don't pay attention. No. So, yeah, we're working on this. This is the one that's going in Sean's apartment gonna hang in his apartment she doesn't like your square one I'm trying to remember which one this is this wasn't the wolf this yeah. is a different one right? well it's a different wolf but yeah it's oh i don't know if i saw that one okay yeah it's awesome mm -hmm. what's it cool. called again uh astral guardian astral yeah it guardian. looks less like the wolves that you see on the 90s t-shirts more like <laughs> a cool one a lot of the ones are like a bad 90s t-shirt wolves like Howling at the Moon. Mm -hmm. you, you know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but some of them are really pretty. Like I know Jeremy's yeah, working cool. on one that there's some wolves Howling at the Moon and it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't You look... know what t-shirt I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. I do. Cool. Yeah. So anyway. He exists everybody, I promise. I really am married. <laughs> Yes, yes you are. <laughs> yes. yes, I am. Let me remind you of that. Yes. Uh, well, normally when I do my lives and stuff, he's he, Adam's playing WoW, and um. We moved desks. Now we're in a more of an open. Yeah, area. we're in the kitchen right now, just so we have more room. Um, normally, I'm in my my art room. In your doja, your she shed. My she shed. You've seen that at that commercial. Yes. Yes. They done burned down my she shed. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I really wanted to do this video and I'm glad that, you know, Sean was willing to give it a try. Yes. Because you know what this is? What? I heard this before. This is making memories right here. Yeah. Because every time you look at this on your wall, you're going to be like, I actually did something with I that. I fucked that up real good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you're not going to mess it up. Oh my gosh. It's not, it's not that hard to mess it up. You gotta intersperse it, that way it's not like, Sean did one side, you did the other. <laughs> Actually, that's true. One line. side will be like way even, and then the other side will not be even. Not at all. Because you can space it slightly different, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depending on your preference. Especially with the round drills, yeah. Oh, those are round, okay. Yeah, you think I'm doing square? I'm doing the square one for you. <laughs> That's I enough. appreciate it. It's so freaking big. Paradise. It's like every time I look at it, I'm like, no. No. Uh, yeah. I do need to work on that one, though. Mm -hmm. Once I finish Hannah Lynn, I'll, I'll alternate between those. Yeah, things. how is how is Hannah Lynn month going? I mean, it's going. <laughs> you tired of it yet? Tired of that piece? No, I just, I think I just need to alternate, like, between... You know, this one and that one. Because when you start doing the same thing every day for like, you know, a couple hours a day, it does get a little... Yeah, I can see that. A little tedious, maybe? Excessive. Yeah. But I will say, the Hannah Lynn Diamond Painting from Diamond Art Club is awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, yeah. the colors, the detail. Even Adam was like, wow, that thing really... Yeah, I don't know what really what it talks. is, but that one that one's crazy. As you, like each time you do like a, hey, I've finished this section, you need to show me a picture of it or something. Like it doesn't look like little bits of plastic. It looks like it's painted. Yeah. So it, and it's it's to me it's absolutely insane how good it looks just for simply yes. putting little itty bitty pieces of plastic down. Yeah. There's it's like you don't see any gap or any space or anything. No, and that's a round draw. Right. Which is surprising, but again, like everybody's always said, you're not going to be like nose deep in the in the diamond painting when you're looking at it. You're going to be a couple feet away from it, so you're not going to see the gaps anyway. No, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 
And you definitely see more gaps with the light pad, I'll tell you that. When you turn that light pad off, it's like, oh, okay, no gaps. No gap. No gap. So yes, this is how we talk all the time. Yeah, we do. Get in your hole. Hey, that's what she said. Oh my God. <laughs> See, she's nasty, y'all. I am not nasty. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm not. You're the one that's nasty. I mean, I admit that. You try to hide it. That's because you're, you're a... You know. I'm, I'm sorry. What was that? You're a male in your 20s. Okay. Who's, who's not nasty male in their 20s? Okay. Yeah. Blame it on that. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, so tell them what you do for your job. So I uh, work in AV. Oh, you uh, need to say what that is. Um, audio video. Um, started... What I do basically in college worked uh, the college I had had a work release or a work student work program where uh, basically you got paid to to go to places do certain menial tasks while you did your homework. Well, the place uh, I chose to go to, I literally looked at the list and it had um, the highest pay. It was ten dollars an hour instead of eight. All everything else was eight. Yeah, I was like, I want that one. That pays the most. Well, it ended up being. Basically, like in a like a just a student worker in the school's auditorium, uh, but we had a massive uh, fifty foot stage in our auditorium. Fifty foot proscenium stage had four thousand seats in a giant theater. Basically, uh, that's where I met one of my good friends, Ryan, uh, and he basically taught me from the ground up anything that I know now and need to use for any sort of um, stagecraft. Uh, I'm do a lot of theater lighting, a lot of video production work, audio engineering work. Um, right now, one of the main things I'm working working with and on is um, LED panel builds. So like we'll hang a LED panel screen and it, it's basically a gigantic TV at that point. And uh, we'll do a lot of corporate events where we'll travel on the road and in, in a whole day set up this huge event for anywhere between 3,000 to 12,000 people to come in, see the event and go, and then at the end of the night, tear it all down, put it back on trucks and go. Um, like I said, now I've moved more towards corporate AV. Um, it's, it's much more of a nicer Monday through Friday, eight to five kind of thing. I dig that, but we do get our long days. So like this weekend, I've got what's called the Richmond Forum. So that's gonna be nice and fun. Uh, that, that's fancy people come and talk to the city officials and that kind of stuff. So. Like, for example, we went, Adam and I went last year. Um, it's like, like last Halloween. My dad's a member of the forum and he wasn't able to go, so we got to use his tickets. And Because who was it? Tina Fey! Yeah, we got, had front row seats to see to Tina Fey. Yeah. It was awesome. And we yeah. ate dinner with her. Um, it, was, it was really cool. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they get all kinds of big names uh, like this year a confirmed name is Michelle Obama so at some point this year we'll do a meeting it's a, just a large open forum for uh, higher ups in the city they do a lot of uh, leadership talking a lot of how did you get where you are mm -hmm. um, a really cool thing they'll do is really big in Richmond is uh, VCU and they'll bring over Kids can, the students that attend VCU can attend the forum for free if it is a speaker that uh, is involved with like their major. So for instance, uh, two months ago we had uh, Bob Costas, um, the sports analyst, and there was a, an entire student room of nothing but sport, sport and sporting majors. Mm -hmm. uh, anything from sports analysts to... Uh, people who are going to try to write up stories and that kind of stuff. Um, they had an entire room dedicated just for the students of VCU, and I think that's pretty cool that they'll do that. And VCU, for those of you that don't know, is Virginia Commonwealth University. Um, it's a huge uh, medical college, uh, primarily a medical college here in Richmond. Um, it's massive, massive, massive. Mm -hmm. so very well-known college. And it's well known for its medical um, program as well as their art program. Uh, their art program is phenomenal. Uh, 
if I had, if I could go back, I would, I would go back and do art instead of uh, sociology. <laughs> Yikes. Use that one. Right. So, but yeah, no, he, Sean is very knowledgeable in all things um, technical. So when I have a question, because you know, y'all know Laura's uh, a little older than basic white girl than Sean, and I am a basic white girl. So uh, he pretty much answers a lot of questions for me. <laughs> Although I will say, I learned how to use my, I bought an editing software, mm -hmm. uh, Filmora mm -hmm. 9, which is awesome. Highly recommend for anybody looking for a editing software. It is a one-time buy. It's not a monthly purchase. Um, very user-friendly. Uh, I learned it pretty much all on my own. So everything, every time you see one of my videos, the intro, the the music, the dissolve, all of that into my actual video. Um, that's all done in Filmora 9. And I learned how to do all that by myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very, very easy to learn. Did watch some YouTube videos, yes. <laughs> so. It's all right. It's, when I went to school, that's basically what my degree would have been in how to Google. How to Google. Yep. See, we didn't have Google when I went to school. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. There's that. Probably a good thing. Probably a good thing we didn't have like the internet the way we do today. Oh, imagine if you had like Facebook and oh, everything. Oh no. Everything you did that was. I'd probably be in jail. Yeah, well, you know. I'd probably be in jail. Laura was a bad kid. I was. I was a horrible child. Teenager, whatever. I was. I was not. I was not fresh, y'all. <laughs> I was not fresh. I was a troublemaker. Although I will say, I mean, in high school. I pretty much, I had the same boyfriend all through high school. He was the sports, you know, football jock, all that stuff. And it was pretty normal during high school. It's just, I think it was because I, I lived such a sheltered life going to private schools and stuff. Shelter shock. That when I went to college, it was like, even though that was a private college as well, it was like, wow. I have freedom? What? Right? Oh, I, I'm God. seeing things I didn't know existed. Yeah. It was it was a little bit of a shock, I will say. What is weed? <laughs> no, I, I knew about that before I went to college. Oh no, I, I no, I don't know. About <laughs> yeah. Did you just admit it? Nothing. No, no, not at all. Um. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. What else can we talk about, John? Good transition, Laura. Yeah. Well, let's talk about how this is such a pain in the ass to do this multi-placer thing. How do you... You have like a five-placer, and I'm struggling with three. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the bigger the multi-placer, the easier it is to do. Well, I don't have a lot of fives-place spots. Okay. So what what are you doing that you're struggling? What's the struggle, show? They don't stick, so I'm going to re-wax it. Okay. You really got to push that wax in there, yeah. What's the problem is now it's like too deep. Just like stick it in, twist it. Twist it. You gotta twist it. I do. Alright, here. Give it to me. Because it gets in there pretty far. Alright. Okay. Now, when you pick up your drills with that wax, because we're not using patty wax today, um, you gotta you gotta press it a little bit to get it to stick. You know what I mean? Okay. But you gotta press it in the line, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I think you just needed a wax refill. All right. So like I said, what else? What else are we chatting about? Everything. So this is when I like chat though, because like I can just read chat too. We ain't got no chat. No, we don't. So right next time we do this, I'm make sure that I read. Uh, put 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 things in comments, people. We're gonna start reading comments and <laughs> bringing comments. Oh no, I spilled the boat. Did you really? Yes. The whole boat? No. Okay. Every hey, welcome to Diamond Painting Show. You got Chris in. I'm surprised you haven't like you know broken a vacuum cleaner with this shit. <laughs> no, I haven't yet. I've picked up quite a few of it with a vacuum cleaner, but I haven't broken it yet. Hmm. Like, when I go to my office and vacuum, it's like... 
ting, 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 I have that down in the basement. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't, just... can't break that thing even if we tried. Yeah, we did try. What did we try? What, what did we use that on? Something leaked or like. Oh no, remember we tried it down on the ditch. Didn't we? Oh, it fucking worked. Yeah, you're, when we had to change out your culvert. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that uh, that was fun. That was not fun. I was I was up to my like kneecaps in water because... Your culvert had a bit of a clog. Yeah, and then it ruined our driveway. We had to get our driveway redone because of it. I don't think that necessarily is what ruined the driveway, but sure. Definitely. I think that had a lot to do with it. But anyway, they, they don't want to hear about that. They don't want to hear about driveway issues. <laughs> oh, so let's see. What else is going on? Um, oh, yeah, so I get to take my... My cable boxes to a UPS store tomorrow. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so it turns out I thought you had to actually take them back to Comcast. And I guess that was, you know, back in the day. And uh, now you can take them to a UPS store. Apparently Comcast has an agreement with UPS. And they will scan the serial numbers and send them to Comcast. Comcast got tired of calling the police so people come and complaining while they're turning in their shit. <laughs> right. So, that's what I get to do tomorrow. I actually get to put pants on and go mm -hmm. out. Real pants. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Mrs. Coffee. If I don't have to put real pants on, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll wear pajamas. It's alright. Don't, don't worry about the face. Just the pants. Right. Or the hair. Or the cares. hair. Yeah, put on a hat. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. A hat. I don't need a hat. It's too warm for a hat right now. Although, I don't know. Saturday, we're supposed to get snow. Oh, God, I hope not. Saturday morning, right? I hope not. <laughs> well, yeah, because you got to drive downtown Saturday morning. Like, really early, right? Mm-hmm. You have to be there at, like, 7 a.m.? Yes. Yikes. Shoot me now. Yeah, where I'll be. In bed. Mm-hmm. In bed asleep. You know, not waking up till noon. Right? Jealous. Right? Very jealous. You get to do that on Sunday? Mm -hmm. You can do that on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday ain't doing shit. Well, yeah, not if you're working, what, 16 hours or whatever? On Saturday, yeah. Is it? Is it? Wait, you get there at 7 and you're not going to go home until midnight. Almost, yeah. Yeah, that's like 17 hours, yikes. That's a long day. Hell yeah. I hope they feed you. Hey, I get a lunch and a dinner. That's good. The break, I mean, I still gotta pay for it. But oh, so tomorrow, Sean gets to go to, if any of you are familiar with Boar's Head, they, you know, they make meats and cheeses and stuff. They have a um, real high-end resort about an hour away from where I live. And he's got to go there to strike an event, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. means tear down. And let me tell you a funny story behind that. The first time he told me he had to go, he had to go strike an event. I literally thought he meant he was going to go stand outside and be on strike. <laughs> I was like, what? Nope. In the uh, show business, you have sets, you have ops, and you have strikes. So how the fuck am I supposed to know that? I don't know. I would not know that. Yeah, well, you know. Basic. Now, now, Basic. Now you know. So yeah, I honestly thought that he said he was going to go on strike. I was like, well, that's not going to pay your bills. Or what? Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure immediately you, like, called me like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. I learned something new that day. The lingo of, of the AV world. Mm -hmm. Good grief. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, and it was fun. We had um, we had a Christmas dinner for Sean. Um, since Sean's family isn't here, um, I always do 
a dinner for him and invite my mom and my stepdad and you know of course Adam's here and this year we invited um, my friend and hairdresser Joel Joel who Sean is also friends with um, but and Joel is very active in the theater scene here in Richmond he does um, hair and you makeup. know hair and makeup and he costuming he's actually directed a couple of things. Um, so yeah, so it, that was an interesting evening. Um, let me put it to you this way. My mom is, love her dearly. She is my fave. She is so fresh. Uh, very conservative. And absolutely will flip out if I color my hair anything other than what Natural. it is. Yeah. And I've, I've tried. I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to dye it pink or I'm going to dye it teal. And she just literally almost has a heart attack like right there in front of me. Mm-hmm. So you better not. It was so funny because when Joel came over, he started talking about how he was going to dye my hair different colors. And she was like, she tried to play it off like it was okay. Like <laughs> You can do whatever you you're want. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want. And then the, uh, the eye roll. <laughs> the eye roll. I did not mean what I just said. Oh, gosh. It was so funny. So funny. It was great. We had a good time. Even though that was the night that I got really, really sick. But it was not off the food because the lasagna was amazing. No, it, that's when my sinus infection like just kicked in. I had like a fever of like 102 and oh, it was horrible. I, I literally thought I was dying. Hmm. Thought I was dying. I even scared you a little bit. Yeah, I mean when you start shaking. Yeah, like I was sitting on the sofa and I just, I couldn't stop shaking. I was like, what is happening? Like, I just, I didn't feel good. I was like, this, this can't be good. This can't be good. No, no, can't be good. So yeah, after that, it was pretty much downhill. Hey, I'm gonna need you to slow down. You, uh, you doing too much? This is your first time. Your first time doing it. No big deal. I also have a bigger multi placer than you do. Mm-hmm. Hey, I offered for you to have a bigger multi placer, and you said no. Mm-hmm. Don't you mm-hmm me? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. Rule number one. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I know that, and that's why I'm here. I mean, if you have questions. How do you do faster? Um, you just pick them up, put them down. Pick them up, put them down. How? how... Throw it. Okay, done. <laughs> no, don't throw it. <laughs> Just throw them at the page. If they stick, they stick. If you throw them at the page, <laughs> then guess what? That's how it's going up on your wall. Because <laughs> I'm not fixing it for you. Oh, God. What, do you, what if you have to remove these? What do you, what? Tweezers. Um, and, yeah, tweezers. Tweezers are the way to go to remove anything that you don't want. It's happened many times with me. I've put it on the wrong spot. And there are a couple of times where, honestly, I've just been like, screw it. I'm you can't leave. even tell anyway. I'm going to leave that one there that, that is on a wrong symbol because who's, who's going to who's gonna know? Yeah, and they send you extras of all the drills. So. Yeah, I've never run out of any drills on any canvas that I've worked on. Knock on wood. Oh, no. It's not going to happen with Craftably. No way. No way. Nope. I mean, and again, it goes back to my saying, and I'll stick by it. You get what you pay for. So. Yeah, you've had you've had some bad ones. Uh yeah. Yeah, like. I know some no name Amazon company when you're first trying stuff out. Yeah, and I can't name one of them for, you know, copyright reasons. But um. Yeah, one was really bad. Uh, the dragon that was. Those drills were just absolute shit. And then the space one, um, that one, the canvas wasn't sticky. It was just, it was bad. It was really bad. It was not a good first. Not a good first run. First run. But I stuck with it. I stuck with it. And then, and then I started watching YouTube. Mm -hmm. And. It's an awesome community of people that. All support and follow each other. Laura found out what to really look for. No, I did. I've learned so much from watching, you know, other content creators on YouTube. I mean, without them, I, I'd still be working on shitty canvases. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wouldn't know. 
-hmm. And, mm -hmm. and not just the learning about the canvases and the kits and everything, but like all of the accessories. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this parchment paper's pretty The pens. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the pens. These are from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. It's so nice. Highlight of the month for January. Yeah, awesome shit. I have a video. Watch it. <laughs> awesome pen. Um, uh, yeah, but all of the accessories and all the different things you can use. Like, I had no idea. I had mm -hmm. no idea. So... Way more to it than just buying a canvas. Way more to it. So yeah, I'd say my favorite companies are... In no particular order. <laughs> Diamond Art Club, Craftably, Star Ore, um, Coach Art. You've got more coming to try, right? So that was one thing you put in one of your videos. If you have any uh, recommendations of companies to try out, put it in the comments below. We're always looking for new stuff to try out. Yes. Um, I just tried a wizardy. I haven't tried it yet. I got it and I showed it. It was the little teeny. Yeah, the little teeny one. The one with the fruit. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to do that one. That one shouldn't take me very long. I was say, yeah, that's like a. Uh, can you knock it out in a whole video? Might be a little no. too big for that. No, 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 no. No. Um, but yeah, that one won't. That one won't take very long. Um, Tin Me. I got one from Tin Me Arts. The Tulips. Mm -hmm. That one's really pretty. I've heard a lot of good things about that. I did order one from um, Treasure Studio Art in Australia. Uh, per Jeremy's suggestion. Um, so thank you, Jeremy, for that. And I look forward to getting that one. I'm real excited about that one. It's beautiful, the mm -hmm. image. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so if you guys have suggestions of new companies that um, I can try, um, I'm happy to purchase uh, a small, like, snack size canvas to give it a try. Is that really what it's called? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Any small canvases are usually called snack size. You find that funny? I'm um, not. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been so good. I haven't bought anything from Diamond Art Club this month. <laughs> it's something to celebrate. It is. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought any of their new releases. Any anything on clearance? I haven't, I haven't bought anything from them this month. So, oh, oh, but I do have an exciting video coming to you. It will come to you. No, hold on. Let me think. So, what's today? Wednesday. Yes. We're doing this on Wednesday. This video, I'm probably just going to go ahead and probably throw it up tonight. Okay. Do you think? Sure. I'll probably just go ahead and process it and throw it up tonight. Okay. Um, I have a whip and chat scheduled for tomorrow, so I might need to push that a little bit. And then I have another video that I have to do tomorrow, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to tell people. You know what it is, but I'm not going to tell people what it is. Ha ha, I know. <laughs> But that video has been an epic, life-changing product for me. Mm -hmm. Like, it is going to change my life dramatically. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a video on that tomorrow. Okay. And I don't know when I'm going to throw that out. Needless to stay, lots of lots good of stuff, stuff coming out. Coming. Like, what... subscribe, keep up with Laura. Check her out on Facebook and Instagram oh and Twitter. God. Ring that bell. Oh Get notified every time she puts something out. Yeah. Yeah, because as of recently, it's been pretty random. Like, I I do have a schedule. Like, my schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays. I put up videos. And then Sundays is my live stream at 10 p.m. Eastern. But recently, it's like, oh, I'll just record a video and throw it up. Why not? Big deal, right? Mm -hmm. I'm bored. Nothing going on. <laughs> or no, I found something cool and I want to share it with everybody. Mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one thing I can't wait to share with y'all. I mean, it's nothing, it's not a new product. It's just, it's a new product for me and it's a game changer for me. Mm -hmm. Game changer. It's really cool too. Yeah, I showed it to you last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Adam really likes it too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He thought it looked really good. So. Yep. Be on the lookout. New video coming out soon. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh man. Oh no, they're too close together. Well, then split them out. Just use your the tip of the drill. Got and it. Go. Yeah. There you go. It will be interesting to see what your side looks like. <laughs> Shit. My side. Well, no, I mean, because I'm so OCD with lining them up. And I'm just trying to get them on the page. Oh, yikes. I am going to have to go behind you and fix it, aren't I? Probably. Oh, no. Yep, yep. Yikes. <laughs> yikes, yikes. Sorry. Ow. Oh. So, have you gotten all of one color done yet? Nope. I have. Mm. <laughs> I have a couple more little stars to do. Uh, like all this blue here. <laughs> like the page is a little shiny. Kind of hard to see because there's so much gloss. Well, it's light. from the poured glue. Of course. It is shiny. You kind of have to just move your head a little bit. Can you do that, Sean? You can. <laughs> Oh boy. But yeah, uh, Sean usually comes over what? Like, we try to do like once, once a, week, a week. He'll yeah. come over and have dinner or whatever. I so, bring Panera, I bring Chick fil A. Oh my gosh. We just found out that there is a Panera. They just opened a new Panera near us. Oh, y'all. I will cut a bitch over Panera. One Chick fil A? Yes. What? So Panera is so much better. Yeah, I like Chick fil A better. But then they again, they have so many more options with Panera. Well, I get chicken anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I got broccoli cheddar soup. Uh, yeah, cool. you got in the bread bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm a fatty. Bread. I'm a fatty. No, that's not what that is. Oh my gosh. All right, what time is that? No idea. I said I would do this for probably about an hour or so because I know you gotta yeah. come and do laundry and stuff. Yeah, and anyone who doesn't know, I mean, an hour long video means like three to four hours worth of work on total. No, including it, it's the, longer than that. Is it really? Yeah, so. I, I've explained it before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's. it's it's Between editing and then ex importing and then exporting and then uploading to YouTube and yeah. It's a process. It is a process. And for those of you that haven't tried it, you should try it, and then you'll really appreciate your YouTube content creators. They do. They appreciate the content we bring. We have lots you, of it's all you, isn't it? Good friends. No, you're bringing content today. You're here stick, with stick, me. Stick, 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 stick. But I do. I love this image. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. oh Hopefully my. it looks kind of, it won't down in this corner that I'm working on, but it'll look pretty close to the rest of it. <laughs> It's an awesome image. Awesome image. Awesome. Yeah. You done? I mean, I finished my one color. Yeah. So. And then if you wanted to do a wrap up. Oh, okay. Wrap up? What, what are we wrapping? How, how are we wrapping up? Um, this is when we do our awesome secret handshake that we don't have. And then bye. <laughs> what, what's our awesome secret handshake? Fist bump. All right, well, I hope everybody has enjoyed this um, whip and chat with my best friend, Sean. Hi, I'm Sean. And my technical guru, that's what I call him as well. Yeah. So don't you throw that pen. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. That pen is expensive. Sorry. I will sick Jim on you for that. It's, it's acrylic. It's oh my gosh. Good. Anyway. It rolls good. Look, you want me to buy you a pen like this? You gotta treat it nice. Okay. Anyway, so this was our whip and chat for Astral Guardian from Craftably and wanted y'all to meet Sean and wanted him to do some diamond painting on his... Now now I have a greater appreciation for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, so anyway, um, I hope that all of you have enjoyed this and, you know. Hope I brought you some laughs. What? Some laughs, laughs, laughs. Uh, say the word wolf. Hey. Hey. You make fun of me for the way I say wolf. Wolf. I don't say it as wolf. Wolf. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You're going to get smashed. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, guys. Uh, we will see you again soon. Um, like I said, you're going to see probably a bunch of random content from me um, over the next three days would mm -hmm. be my guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and if then you like it, hit the thumbs up and say something in the comments or we don't know. Right. Any questions you want to ask me or Sean, feel free. Comments below. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I, I want to do a video on answering people's questions. Um, anything within reason. So, yeah. Nothing too <laughs> wacky. Wacky do. Like, don't be, don't be a troll. But <clears throat> you know what I mean. So, alright guys. Well, we appreciate it. And we will see you again really soon. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.